Hi kids, this is your old pal, Uncle Al. Hi, I'm Dino. Something a little different. Right now, this is a live stream from Pan 8 Day Video Paranormal. Please check them out. Yeah, Panic D Paranormal History. They missed a really good haunted house in Ohio that Uncle Al would be in. <clears throat> I slept in it, no problems. A lot of people freak out of that house. It's called the Mud House. Now, you, if you ever got caught, it's about a year's time in county jail, but Uncle Al snuck in, met a couple of hobos. They said there's a lot of weird things going on, so spent the night, talked to the hobos, no problem. Shared a little whiskey, but that's when Uncle Al had two kidneys. And a lot of the hobos say, yeah, it's really creepy in that house. But I forget which family knocked it down. My memory is going. I got holes in my brains. Um, anyway, it's really good. This is the Barstow House investigation uh, for Panic D Paranormal History. Got to check that out. See, right there. I hope you can see that. It's real spooky. <coughs> uh, getting old. Anyway, uh, let's kill that circuit type. Okay, other than that, I made some lunch because my blood sugars got too low. Kay's going to be happy. I can't eat carbs. I've been on a semi-vegetarian diet, and it screwed up my weight. I'm now over 199 pounds. I hit 208 yesterday, and that's on a semi-vegetarian diet. And I talked to my dietitian, I'm eating too much carbs. So down on carbs, this is scrambled eggs with sukiyaki beef and uh, Japanese mushrooms, Chinese mushrooms, covered with pickled turnip greens, green onions, and pickled ginger. I'm glad used to be a short order cook, so I know how to cook. And I know how to make the omelet extra fluffy with stuffing inside. So anyway, kids, this is going to be a short video. I'm just tuckered out. I'm trying to do... A lot of things today and running out of space on my area. Now Jet has uh, cambits I think. Uncle Han used to use a cambit that I cut to myself too many times so I prefer using this. This is a palm dagger. Okay let's get a close look. And I kind of look at now I'm not as good as we are art seas. Those girls know how to flip a butterfly, ballet song, uh, regular knife, you name it. They know how to handle knives. Uncle Alan's old. So if you see one of these in Uncle Alan's hand, that means you're going to die really soon or you're already dead or you're finding out there's my kidney on the ground. Uncle Alan knows how to use one of these things. Now I make a pretty crummy push dagger, but it will work. I prefer the other way with it. It makes a great gutter. I used it on deer. Sorry for the crummy looks. But I've been using on deer. My nephew brings down the deer. I gut him out. Works really good. What's this? The serrated edge. I gut and skin deer with it. It's really fast, really sharp, really scary. Now it's spitting again. That's why I don't eat on, on camera. Let me put that back. Other than uh, Panic D, shout out. Okay, I'm getting tired. I'm doing this segment on book review. Now, right now, Backwoodsman is out. Please get this if you're a bushcrafter or beginner prepper. It's really good, and a lot of people forget things. If you're going into the woods or three days into the bush or countryside, you should read this magazine. It's a lot better than the other ones. Uncle Al goes through all of them. Reason why? It's research. And it's not fear porn, like Hubble's cat would say. Yeah. Ugh, Uncle Al, I'm getting old. For the new preppers around in our group, that's prep for it. And I think wasteland prepping, you got to get this one. This is the bug out book. All right. You can find this on Amazon. I forgot who printed this one. 
it's Williams see Williams okay never go half blind it's pretty good It'll cover firestorm floods hurricanes tidal waves pandemic earthquake a terrorist attack and it does have the regions back there okay so anyway Uncle Alan lives in the desert southwest which is a headache for Uncle Alan because Uncle Alan's old now next book review I always tell everybody get this book from outdoor life right a lot of people don't listen to Uncle Alan this will save your life especially DOI solar okay on the solar bits there's a few problems you got but once you found your homestead and you're settled down build a proper battery bank and deep cycle either fishing boats or to them or golf carts I will get golf carts because there's a lot of golf courses and you can pick up batteries fairly cheap when they buy it in bulk see so what you learn from Uncle Al and put it in a metal frame not hop skitching all over the place the reason why I tell people battery banks because that's the primary thing they miss okay and I can't see too well that's why it needs to work it's the primary thing they miss because the solar cells on your house that you got it from your local solar retail is a con okay go back a few videos but maybe a hundred two hundred I tell this to everybody once your <coughs> energy comes from the sun it goes to a diverter which goes to the main line which goes to the central plant which comes back and feeds back into you because it's direct they need AC they have to modify it to go onto AC you don't have any of the controls they do now the ones here right outside of the town I seen it okay what the hell happened Great, I got a security scan. Okay, I'll still keep going. I got this book right here. I hope it doesn't affect. Um, whoops, sorry. Can't see it now. I really hate it when I get pop ups. Can't see the damn screen anymore. Getting old, too. Okay, kids. Sorry about that. Again, survival mom for you lady preppers out there. I'm gone it's getting old. I'm gone it's getting tired. So wasteland preppers. Be sure you get this book. Okay. I've seen wasteland prepper video, one of the videos, that he's backpacking with a backpack. Well, wouldn't it be easier if you were on an all-terrain bicycle and you put your gear on panettiers and you bike way faster? Less stress on your back. You get about 15 miles an hour. You know, hiking is fine. You know, walking down is fine. But when you're being chased by dogs, zoo animals, a hungry mob of zombies, I think a bicycle works really fast. Okay, kids. And let me see what else. This is what happens when Uncle Alan's short on brain power and he's tired. Quick shout out to Prep for It, Bethany Meyer, my favorite gamer. Liberty Gardens, got your back. I've just been busy. Plus the rainstorm out there. Uh, Harshman Hill, Cindy John, LS, Daisy, Diane SFG. Yeah, I tried the semi being a diet game. Like almost nine pounds. Uh, Kentucky Survival. DOI, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> DOI Solar Homestead. I gotta watch my time. I'm gone blind, but he is. A, I don't know how to edit. And I'm doing these things raw by memory. And my memory's kind of shot. I got brain damage. You tried to do this with two strokes. Kill, kill Deer Survival. Savage Survival, Reverend Christine, uh, West Wind Survival, please check out his videos. Really good. I like the kids. Um, 
3D tripper. Hope you're right. A lot of rain coming. Uh, let's see. The Inside Freedom. Buy magazines and ammo now. And then the pistol stuff. You want a rifle. <clears throat> I'm supposed to do a video on that, but right now Uncle Alan's a little bit too hot-headed, and I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube for two reasons. YouTube is an unstable organization and platform. They really went towards the corporate side. And also Google, Google has their own problems, <clears throat> like those little Google disks. They have secret microphones and cameras. Great. And they're recording you and you don't know about it. So anyway, kids, I got to go. I got to get some food in for me. This egg and beef bowl with a lot of vegetables. Usually it's on a bed of rice, but I can't do carbs. So it's basically vegetables, egg, and beef. So anyway, kids, I'll catch you later. This is your old pal, Uncle Alan. Like and subscribe. I'm Die Bullfrog 79. Yeah, kids, don't forget. And don't forget Uncle Alan so many because he's eating stuff that I wouldn't eat. You're a dinosaur. Anyway, kids, I'll catch you later. Bye.